All right, welcome everyone. My name is Jeremy Allen, uh, co-founder of Yasmo and Lead Quizzes, and I'm super excited today to bring to you um, Yuri Elkaim, New York Times bestselling uh, author and uh, founder of YuriElkaim.com and a lot of other businesses you may have heard of. He's extremely successful in the fitness space, and I'm super excited to bring him to you today because uh, what we've been doing with these quizzes to help people grow their list by 100,000 people in a year. Um, Yuri has been a master of building out a sales funnel and selling after the quiz and really building out these funnels. So I wanted to bring him on today so we could do kind of an over the shoulder look at what he's doing and what's like the thought and psychology behind it and really, uh, you know, show you guys this, how to be successful yourself. So welcome Yuri. Thanks for having me, buddy. I'm happy to share my secret sauce if I can call it that. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna like I'm gonna turn the screen over to you, Yuri. So go ahead and share your screen, and we'll just start to walk through like the structure of um, what do we have in place. Yeah. So just let me know that you can see my screen here. Yep. We're good to go. Okay. So for everyone watching, and, and for you, Jeremy, as well. So this is our uh, this is basically the landing page from our ads. Is that correct? That's correct. So someone sees an ad that's like. You know, are you having the most effective ad workout? Take this quiz to find out. They land on this page. Yeah, exactly. I'm just going to remove my bookmarks to take that uh, out of the distractions away. So, okay. So basically this is the start of the quiz. Um, as obviously you guys developed the quiz, there's no hyperbole. There's no outrageous claims. Uh, obviously, otherwise we'd be shut down in a second. So simple questions like, you know, do you work out daily? I'll just, I'll just walk you through this. So you do, do you work out daily? I'll just say yes. Um, is your workout composed mostly of exercises done or near the floor? I'll just say no. Workout should be concentrated on the abdominal muscles. Let's just say true because most people think they should. Is strength training important for flattening abs or creating the six pack? We'll say no because we have to do lots of cardio and lots of sit ups, right? Um, workout should involve other muscles other than the abdominal muscles. We'll say false. To achieve flat abs, you should concentrate on sit ups, crunches, and other workouts centered on the abs. We'll say true. Your genes are responsible for why your uh, abs are flat or not. We'll say false. Metabolism manipulation can be important in keeping abs flat. Uh, we'll say true. Going on diets have a tremendous effect on flattening abs. True. And I'm just randomly answering the questions here, so there's no rhyme or reason for what I'm doing. Um, but as you can tell, there's, there's 12 questions here. So the initial thinking is like, why would somebody go through 12 steps of a quiz? But as you'll see, it actually makes a lot of sense. So... Uh, tenth question is all you need is the right exercise and the right diet and you will get flat abs you've been dreaming of. Let's say true. The more frequently you do workouts, the more quickly the results you'll be shown. True. The more intense you work out, the more effective it will be. Let's say true. Okay, so if I enter my name and uh, I'll just put in a random email here. This used to be my Hotmail email until my Hotmail account got hacked, so I'll just put it in there. So if I hit the get results, my, get my results were taken to the results page. So... Uh, what you guys have done really well is, you know, we kind of gave you the framework for what we wanted to see, um, kind of the direction we wanted our quiz to go. And the whole idea with our, with, so the whole idea with our quiz is to get people into our amazing absolution program, which I will pull up right here. So this is our, our, our kind of our sales page, our written sales page. And the whole hook of this program is it's a 12 week program, no sit-ups involved, and it shows people how to activate their muscles properly through my coaching over your headphones. So the workouts, you know, we developed the workouts, this workout program a couple years ago. And what we've done really well in the fitness space is develop a lot of follow along workouts that are kind of with me as your virtual trainer. So the key though is how do you position that and how do you make that compelling to people to want to be like, wow, this is something new and exciting. So we took a concept like, you know, we talked about, you know, when we first launched this program, you know, three years ago, we tried like the no sit up angle, you know, it didn't really, you know, didn't really catch on. People really didn't care too much about it other than those who already had back pain and kind of realized that sit ups weren't the best thing. But our target audience are, you know, women and some men between 30 and 55 who are relatively healthy and they just want to burn belly fat and get trim or toned abs. So they're happy to do sit ups if they have to. So what we're trying to do here in the sales page and in our whole kind of message is saying that not only do sit-ups suck in terms of the fact that they could actually worsen the health of your spine, but they're actually completely ineffective at burning belly fat. And we, we show some of the science down here as, as to why that is. And the important thing to remember, especially in a really crowded marketplace, like fitness, like abdominal training, like weight loss, 
is the sophistication of the market. And this is a concept that Eugene Schwartz talks about in his amazing book called, the, uh, called Breakthrough Advertising. If you haven't read it, strongly recommend you do. And for instance, in the fitness space, we're at a level of sophistication where people have seen everything. So what's really gonna differentiate your program from the next one is the mechanism. So what is the mechanism of your program that is different from everything else that's out there? So these abdominal workouts are on average 20 minutes. They can be tacked on to your existing workouts so they can be kind of an add-on program or done alone for amazing results. There's no sit-ups. Um, but we, we decided to do something a little bit different and, and basically create a new mechanism, which is what we called metabolic compounding which is essentially the idea that if you don't know how to activate your muscles properly, you're not going to get in the most effective workouts or the most effective results from your workouts. However, if you do know how to activate your muscles properly and you can engage those deeper muscles and you can learn how to sequence their muscle, the muscle activation properly, and the only way to do that is by having instruction right over your headphones, then you're able to engage more muscle. And as a result of engaging more muscle, you get more metabolic effects, more calories burned, and more overall um, kind of benefit and development from that. So it's a, for anyone who knows about exercise and physiology and biomechanics, it's, there's no term called metabolic compounding, but it's a concept in terms of like activating your muscles properly that most people know about, or most experts should know about. P90X, they called it muscle confusion, right? Just changing up the way you, change your, you train your muscles, right? So you don't do the same exercise every single day. They called it muscle confusion, and that was their mechanism. So in our, in our case, we called it metabolic compounding. And then we tacked that together with our um, three parts build, sculpt, burn system. So we have four weeks of build, four weeks of sculpt, four weeks of, well, this is obviously a typo. That should, should say burn. But anyways, I just wanted to kind of show you this because you have to understand where you're taking people with the quiz in terms of the messaging and the questions. Cause if we're in the quiz, if we're asking questions, like it's important to do lots of sit-ups and cardio to lose belly fat. And if people say yes to those questions, that's kind of where they're at. And we're basically telling them, listen, the reason you haven't lost belly fat is because you've been doing too many of those types of things. So when we go back to the results here, this answer, for instance, the strong willed, but misled is basically saying you are a hard worker, but you're, but it seems like what you've been doing is not working mostly because of a lot of false information that you've been told. And so here we're kind of leading people into, listen, it's not your fault, but if you really want the solution, then click here. So right now we have this going to our video sales letter. So if I click here, this will go to our video sales letter. And the video sales letter is essentially more or less the same as our um, text sales page. And I'll show you, uh, well, basically if you leave the video sales letter, you would end up on the text sales page if you said stay on this page. Okay, so just, you know, for some people that would rather read the text sales page uh, as opposed to watching the video sales letter. And that's basically our front end sequence. So right now we're getting leads Again, it's varying by week, but on average right now, we're less than about 90 cents per lead, which is pretty amazing considering people are going through 12 questions to get to the actual opt-in. So I'm sure you guys, obviously there's, there's a reason for that, for developing that kind of quiz as opposed to just a one-stop kind of, you know, question and answer. From my understanding, it's the, the whole notion of commitment and consistency, which is if you get people to continually take small actions, like click the next button, click the next button, the likelihood of them completing that, that process is gonna be much greater. It's like those dating sites like match.com. I've never actually filled out one of those questionnaires, but I went through them for fun and it was like a like hundred questions. And I'm like, this is crazy. But for somebody who's really interested in finding a mate, once they filled out 40 questions and they don't know there's another 60 coming, they're most, they're most likely gonna fill the rest of them out because they've already committed to the first 40. So they don't want to be incongruent with their, with their initial behavior. Yeah. So I think so we, we've, we've tested that a lot here. So we've, uh, we've tested it. We found like kind of 10 to 12 was like the sweet spot of like best number of questions. We've done it with like 25 questions and people still do it, but we start to see a drop off, I think. Um, and it, and it goes to what you're talking about commitment and consistency, but there's a balance there. Cause I remember like looking at some stats for YouTube one time and they were talking about, 
you know, like if you could get people to get past like the certain minute mark, like they would stay for like an hour and watch the entire thing. But it's, so it's kind of like that drop off and like where you want to get. But yeah, that's why we picked like 10 to 12 questions for you. Yeah, no, I think it's, I think it's, you know, it's, it's obviously worked well for us. And I think there's, um, you know, I think there, there needs to be some thought into the questions as well, right? So if you're just putting up a quiz, you really have to think about it. And that's why it comes back to what is the ultimate results, which is, let's just be very honest, we want to sell something here, right? So we have to work backwards and reverse engineer what it is we're doing. And, you know, in this case, if we want to sell our amazing app solution program, we have to figure out, okay, who is our target market? So for us, it's, let's say, ideally women between, well, just based on the testimonials that we have on this page, for instance, which I'll show you. Um, so if a man comes on this page and they, and they see these types of results, they'll be like, wow, that's cool, but it's not, I mean, this guy's 65, amazing results, Sean. Um, but for the most part, most of our testimonials are from women. So we tend to focus a little bit more on women. We tend to attract them into our business a little bit more, more easily. So we just highlight that. So there's no point in us driving Facebook ads to men, showing them this type of sales page. We could have a different sales page with men testimonials, but for us, our target market for this program is this type of woman. Um, the next thing is like figuring out, well, where do they hang out, right? So I think one of the cool things that you guys have done is that we haven't really targeted, not that I'm aware of, like very specific interests. Like we're not saying target Jillian Michaels fan page. Mm -hmm. You guys have just broadly said women relatively interested in fitness and nutrition, I think, or, or abs workouts. And we've seen some amazing results with that, which is kind of counterintuitive because you think like the more the more narrow, the more specific you go, the better results you get. But I don't know, I mean, what have you guys found with, um, I don't know, with other campaigns in terms of going broad versus very narrow? Yeah, so there's like different ways to do that. I mean, you can go narrow, but I mean, you know, someone like you, Yuri, like you're interested in scaling this up and growing it uh, really quickly. And I mean, that works for you, like for some other people, like they may not be in that place, but for you, like if we do that, we have to, um, we have to find an audience that is very wide, like a wide reaching demand. That's why we go like stay a lot in the B2C space. It's just because it's a, it's a huge audience. And yeah. I think one of the like tactics we use for you is you already had an existing email list. So we were able to go in and like create some lookalike audiences um, in addition to some interest. So I think even for you, one of the things we did was take a lookalike audience of uh, buyers of your product in the past. Mm -hmm. And so that helped with some of the initial targeting, um, getting the lead cost anywhere from like 50 cents to, to 90 cents a lead. Yeah. That's uh, the beauty of Facebook and having you guys run this stuff because you guys do all the ads and we just kind of sit back and focus on the back end. And, and I think it's like, it's really important to have, and it's really important to have both. I mean, as I mentioned before, we had four or five Facebook ad accounts that were shut down for whatever reason. And so for us, we kind of been, we've been handcuffed for about two years from advertising on Facebook, which has really been a pain in the ass for us. But now we can have you guys who have a very close relationship with Facebook and do this with multiple clients who know exactly what to do, what kind of wording and messaging to use on Facebook and take care of that, which allows us to focus on our back end, which I believe not a lot of people think about. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's a huge mistake because I think there's this, this idea that there's this, not, not everyone, but a lot of people, a lot of business owners are apprehensive to spend money on advertising but it's really not spending money, it's investing. I'm happy to invest money in advertising because I know that even if I'm not immediately making a sale, we've got so many different things in our product line and so much goodwill and value we can add to the people coming into our list that we will recapture that money or that investments pretty quickly. So um, with that said though, you can't just slap up the quiz and then just get them on your list and that's it. I mean, you have to take them to an offer and you have to continue to test stuff. So some of the things that we're testing right now, so this video sales letter, as you, as you can tell, has no add to cart button. So there's nothing, you have to watch the video. And we're testing right now two different times where the button will appear. So we're testing 19 minutes and 38 minutes. 19 minutes is when I first mentioned the program. 38 minutes is where I start talking about go below the video to buy now. So we're starting, we're looking at, doesn't make a difference right now. The, the results are more kind of less pretty even. So we don't have a conclusive winner. Um, but these are some of the things that we're testing. So 
Another thing that we're testing once we have this winner is we're gonna be testing our headline. Uh, I don't necessarily believe this is the strongest headline. This is more of a story kind of a story based headline, which is a little bit more under the radar, but perhaps again, thinking about the psychology of the whole process from the quiz, there might be a bit more of a, um, maybe a bitter, a better headline that would, that people would see right after they click on, I want amazing abs on that results page. So we'll be testing that headline next. So that's pretty much our front end. So we've got the video sales letter and then we've got the text sales page. Okay, so you're, so like I'll, I'll summarize. So what we got is like we're taking people from an ad to a 10 to 12 question quiz. That's around how effective is your ab workout. And then we take them to the sales page where it's like, you know, like you're probably not doing your ab workouts correctly. Um, some of the things that you mentioned is you talk about the sophistication of your market. So you need to look at positioning your copy where you're speaking to them and, and really making like a, uh, rationalizing and explaining things where they're going to be like, okay, that makes sense based on like their knowledge behind the subject. Mm -hmm. um, it looks like you've, uh, so you've gone and like create a testimonial specifically towards like the target market that you're going after and like the type of ads that we're, we're sending. Um, walk us a little bit more through. So like your, your, uh, the copy from this sales page is about the same as like the video sales letter. It's just a different format. Is that correct? Pretty much. I mean, we, we didn't do the whole, um, John Benson VSL, it's like three X formula for this thing. I've done that on other videos. And to be honest, I think there's different approaches to take. And I don't think there's one specific approach. Like if we wanted to get really granular, which is something we're in the process of doing with all of our products is we don't just have one sales page. We've got one sales page that has a specific lead in. And then some people re will respond to that in the same way with the video sales letter, you can have multiple sales pages with the same product, but have a different lead in. Maybe one's a story based one's talking maybe more about losing belly fat. Another one's talking about, you know, getting toned abs. So you think about the desires that your market have and understand that if you have a hundred people land on your page, not all 100 people care about that same thing. So it kind of makes sense. It's a little bit more work, or maybe a lot more work to create multiple different angles but in the long term, in the long run, that's probably the most effective way at getting more people into your program without burning out your list because you can still provide good value and give them different looks at the same type of product. So, um, yeah, so right now the video sales editor, the text sales page, which are more or less the same and the price point of the product is $39. We're giving people an initial six or an immediate $60 discount and they basically hit the amazing or I want amazing apps, but, um, uh, all right, Yuri, what if you walk us through this? So like, how do you, like if someone's coming like and setting up like a sales page at, for their front end offer, like what do you kind of take it? Cause yours is like very, like it's, it's, it tells a story. It's very interesting. Um, you build up like an irresistible offer where you package in these bonuses, make a great offer. Like what, what's your approach to creating a sales page? So it, it depends. I mean, there's a lot of different ways you can write a sales copy or a sales page. And, and with this one, you know, we, our previous, our older version was, it was straight to the point. It was like, Hey, you know, with three, just, just three short workouts a week, you can, you can burn value fat, whatever. And it was okay. It didn't work very well. It wasn't the strongest copy. This one, I decided to use more of a story. And I used the example of me breaking my leg playing soccer when I was 15, leading to this discovery that transformed thousands of people's lives or their, their core and their abdominals. And it's like, what the hell does breaking your leg have to do with that? And I, I, so I start off this story about how I'm, you know, I broke my leg and I'm laying on the sidelines. So I'm kind of getting people involved in a story. It's very much, it's kind of under the radar. So I, I really believe there's a lot of power in story selling mm -hmm. where you're not blatantly saying, Hey, buy my stuff. It's here's a story. You're engaging with people emotionally and getting them involved. And then you're leading them into an eventual sale. So here we're saying, okay, I broke my leg when I was 15. As a result of that, I started, I had to do rehab and I was introduced to a great trainer who showed me how to train properly. And that's how I started to develop this understanding of, Hey, if my leg is mush, it's because my muscles were activating properly. Could the same thing be happening in my core and basically kind of tie the two together. So, um, there's a famous saying, I can't remember who said it, it was something like, you know, never tell a story without a point and never tell a point without a story. Mm. And so I'm not just telling a story for, telling a story here. I'm telling a story specifically as it ties into the premise of our sales copy here, which is metabolic compound, this whole kind of muscular activation thing. So I start off with the sales copy and then tying it into how it benefits the reader. 
Um, and that's actually something I could probably even, maybe even put up here a little bit more. Um, you know, down here, it's kind of below the fold a little bit. So basically, you know, almost at the top, we're saying, listen, if you're suffering from this stuff, or if you want to benefit from this, here's why you want to continue reading. So you always want to make it about them. Okay. You can also use story in the copy to kind of get them involved in a little bit more of a, a seamless manner where their resistance is a little bit lower. Okay. So, so storytelling that, and then how the story relates to them. Yep, exactly. Okay. And then obviously talking about always reminding people of the benefits of continuing to read, how this ties in with their ability to lose belly fat. Again, we're trying, when you're using a story, you have to, you ha always have to remember that it's not, don't go way off on tangents about you and your thing. Just always bring it back to why it matters to them. And it's, it's almost like the hero's journey, right? It's like, you know, here's, you know, here's where I was, here's what I tried. I kind of fell flat on my face and I found this mentor, this guy who showed me the plan and I tried it and then I, you know, defeated the evil person and I, you know, figured this thing out. So that's kind of the, 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 the framework that we use for that. And there's obviously a lot of underlying emotional tones here. Mm -hmm. I talked about how my girlfriend left me when I was 16, great, I think it was grade eight. Uh, for another guy who had better abs. Mm -hmm. So for some people watching, that's, you know, they can relate to losing sure. someone they love yeah. because they're not good at some insecurities. Yeah. So using undertones like that in your copy uh, can be pretty powerful. You're not outright saying like, hey, it's because I didn't have abs, but you're just kind of underlying, you know, these underlying tones okay. in your copy. Um, and then just, you know, again, kind of leading down into what this is, how it's different, how it's going to benefit them. Okay. Um, yeah. So that's in a nutshell, the whole, uh, the whole idea with the sales copy there. All right. So then you start high, like going over some of the features of like what it is, um, how it's going to benefit. And then, so what do you do after like you highlight the features? So I'll just talk about the benefits. So for instance, a feature of this program would be our build sculpt system system. Apparently so it's build sculpt burn, but this would be a feature, right? So we've got three phases, each phase is four weeks in length. And it's very easy for us to stick in the features, which basically means here's what you're going to get in the first four weeks. You're going to get these cool workouts. I'm on your headphones. That's a feature to make it into a benefit. Just use so that, or so you can. Mm -hmm. So for instance, um, I'll just go down here. So follow along videos of every workouts. Um, so basically what I'm saying here is I'm saying I'm on your headphones to give you step-by-step -step and step, sorry, step-by-step -step instruction and motivation so that you can get better results with proper guidance and instruction. So you never feel like you're working on, you know, all by yourself. So you're always kind of tying in a feature with some type of benefit. Uh, workout trackers and exercise pictures. So you can print these off and have them right beside you each step of the way so you know exactly what you're doing in every moment of the workout. Exercise pictures, you know exactly what you're looking at as the start and end position of every, of every, um, every exercise so that you know, even without my guidance, you know that you're doing them with proper form and you don't get injured, right? So you can keep going down that rabbit hole and that means, right. which is important because you know, you can go down that if you want to. So that's interesting. So you break out like each of your like feature and benefits into separate value to build up like the total value of the, the sale. Yeah. And not just the monetary value, but all like remind, like, why is it important? Like, okay, so a training calendar and plan, like that's the feature. What's the benefit? The benefit is that you don't have to think about anything, mm -hmm. right? So you can just live your life and I've taken care of everything for you. You just show up and press play and go along with the workout. Sure. Right. And then obviously the, the value of that is, you know, if I say $29, that's just, I'm not even sure if that it could be a thousand dollars depends on what everyone kind of deems that value to be for them. But at least in this case, we're just kind of putting a, a relatively suitable value for that specific like PDF download, if you will. Okay. Um, this, you know, we put this in here. This is, this is something I think is interesting. Um, just kind of recapping what we've learned in the sales copy because this is kind of like an educational piece. We've learned that the number one reason you can't lose belly fat and get flat abs is because your muscles are not firing properly. So we're reiterating the main problem people are having mm -hmm. and reminding them that because of this problem, this program is going to help you solve that. So we're, we're reminding them of that. And we're also saying the solution, the only way to get over that 
is to reactivate your core by following the very system that we have here and to awaken your body's metabolic compounding effects, which is again, that idea of just learning how to activate your muscles properly. And then letting them know that they cannot do that on their own. You can't print off a picture or look at a magazine and understand how to activate your muscles properly. And that's where you have, that's why you have a coach, right? That's why all pro athletes have a coach to give them that instruction that they don't even know about. And that's for us, at least that's a big kind of selling point, um, as opposed to just having an ebook that they would download. And then, you know, there's obviously the bonus stack. So this is where we want to make it even more irresistible. So we have the core program and then we're adding in a bunch of bonuses to make this even more of a no brainer. And with the bonuses, it's, it's important to think about like, what is the strategy with the bonuses? Don't just throw a bunch of stuff in there, have the bonuses support the main program. So in this case, we've got a bunch of interval cardio workouts, which are anywhere from two to five minutes. So you might do the abdominal workouts and then finish with two to five minutes of these interval speed bursts. So the benefit here is that they keep your metabolism raised, help you burn any fat, and they only take about five minutes. And we've got the kettlebell core workout, belly fat burn workout, and ab annihilator workouts. These are all strategically designed to help people implement a little bit more advanced type of workouts as they get fitter throughout the program or even when it's done. So we talk about that in the copy and you know, it's not just like, Hey, here's, here's a report on, you know, getting flat abs. It's, it's, it's strategic in, you know, moving people along the scale. So if they're at point A and they want to get to point Z, these bonuses are going to help them fill those gaps mm -hmm. in addition to the core program. Um, again, going back to the benefits here. So again, here's what you can expect to see and feel by using the amazing absolution program. So these are, these are specific benefits. So here I'm not even talking about the features of the program. I'm saying this program is going to help reactivate and strengthen your core. And I could just leave it at that, but let's go a step further. So you can burn more fat and actually feel your new toned abs. Feel your waist shrink and tighten, drop more belly fat and get rid of that embarrassing muffin top, reduce back pain so you can move freely. That's a big word there for a lot of people who are in their 50s where they have mm -hmm. a lot of joint pain and they don't feel as mobile. So again, knowing your market, knowing what kind of language they use. Um, save time by training smarter, sculpt and tone visible abs like I'd noticed. So these are the big kind of six benefits people get from this program and we're highlighting it again towards the end of the sales page. Um, there's a $60 discount, as I mentioned before, and it's really important, it's, this is very important. You have to give people a reason why um, you're doing this. I mean, when you first emailed me and you told me you're doing this whole beta test, you gave me a very good reason why you're doing this, and I was like, that's legit, mm -hmm. right? And so here we're saying you're getting yeah, 60 you don't, you don't want people thinking that what you're doing is a scam or um, yeah. no, it's too good to be true. Exactly. So here we're telling, um, we're saying, okay, you get $60 off. And so again, try it for just 43 cents per day. So again, we're, we're making it even seem more of a no brainer by saying instead of $39 it's 43 cents per day. Mm -hmm. Again, over 12 weeks, that's $39. And here's why. So I'm explaining why we're giving the discounts and um, for me, in this case, it was because I learned this stuff from the trainer I was working with at the time, and this is my way of paying it forward to help other people implement the same strategies. And our goal is to help 10 million people by 2018, so I want to make this program affordable because I know how amazing it is, and if I make it more affordable, then more people can benefit from it. Mm -hmm. So those are you know, some of the reasons that we have the discounts, and we've outlined them there. So having that reason why is really important. So that's kind of the, so, so those are some of the big, the big components of the sales copy, obviously some FAQs here, which expand when you click on them yep. and you had yeah. testimonials above. Okay. Yeah. So that's, that's the basic structure of what you guys did for like this long page. And like, obviously, as you said, like this is something that people need to test like different formats of VSL, like yeah. even you're, sw you're swapping out headlines, swapping out buttons. You mentioned the, the importance of knowing like the language of your market. So I'm sure you've spent a lot of time talking with them, maybe surveying the people that have come in um, to like really like tweak this and dial it in and make it more relevant to them. Yeah. Yeah. Like for instance, we know that because I'm on, I'm on your headphones with these workouts, one of the biggest pieces of feedback is, is this, 
Yuri is so encouraging during the workouts. It, it feels like I have somebody right there with me the whole time. So we know that for a lot of people, a big obstacle is, is not being able to do stuff on their own. Mm -hmm. So we kind of use that in the language here. Um, and then just one final thing here on the, the buy now button. It doesn't say buy now or add to cart. Usually, whether it's an opt-in or anything like that, like a sales call to action, you want to make it relevant to the desired result that the person wants. So here we're saying, I want amazing abs, which is a little bit more compelling than add to cart. Sure. Right? So if, if we were talking about getting ripped six pack abs, then I would say I want six pack abs. If I was talking, if I were talking to guys who are after that, right? Yeah. So that's something we have on all of our buttons. Awesome. Um, yeah. Okay. So that's what you're doing with like the sales page and like people should be testing that. So you're also doing like some upsells in here, right? Yeah. So, okay. So this is the most important thing you can possibly do. So, I mean, yeah. So Yuri, cause like your, your average order is like, is greater than what you're selling on here. Correct. Yeah. So our average order value right now is about $62. And, and that's just within, that, that's just within the, just right. this one sequence. That's not even like outside of like after they buy and stuff. Mm -hmm. So this is really important to nail down, especially when you're buying ads, you're not making your money on the front end sale right? You're not even making money for the most, for a lot, a lot of times in the entire transaction, but you need to have those upsells in place in order for you to have revenue to pay for your ad spend. Mm -hmm. Cause if you're making, if you're spending a hundred dollars and you're only making 50, unless you're working, unless you're pulling money out of a trust fund, eventually it's, <laughs> you're going to run into problems. So you want to be making at least almost a dollar for dollar. Mm -hmm. Again, if you know your back end and you can sacrifice a couple of dollars on the front end, that's cool, but you have to know your numbers and you have to spend time really working on this upsell flow as well as the front end to make sure that it converts. Um, okay, so I'll show you the upsells that we have here. So we've got three upsells in this process. So I'm just gonna move this window down. Um, okay, so, Okay, so here's the first upsell we have. At the top of the screen, it says obviously stop, upgrade your order now and get even faster results. So all of my upsell pages have a video of me thanking them for their order and then leading them to the next possible add-on. So the Amazing App Solution program is a core focus program, even though it, a lot of it is very full body. But here we said, okay, if they purchased an abdominal program and they wanna burn fat, the next logical thing for them would be to buy a full body workout program that would help them lose overall body fat and help them see their abs. So that's basically what this offer is on this page is our all day fat burning workouts, which is a full complete, you know, full body training system that I developed in conjunction with my next book, the all day fat burning diet. And the workouts are awesome, right? So they're more full body focused. There's a, a combination of different you know, training styles. And so, you're, so you're expanding on what they're getting. So it's something that like they're going to get even more results with this. Yeah, so. Exactly. So, so with, with your upsells, you want to think about things like how can we accelerate your results? How can we make it more done for you? Or what is, what is something else you might be interested in based on your initial purchase? So in this case, we're saying this is kind of an accelerated results type of offer. Mm -hmm. And what we've noticed is this price point, $67 is a game changer for us. We've noticed in all of our funnels, whenever the first upsell is priced the highest, we get the biggest average order from all of our transactions. In the, what I've noticed in the internet marketing space is, you know, you come in for a free plus shipping offer or you buy a course or whatever it is, and then it's like an escalating ascension of prices. So it's like 97, yeah. 99, 499. What I found in the health space, again, I can only speak from my experience and those I've worked with, is that we're basically doing the opposite. We're saying whatever you come in on your first price point at, let's say in this case 39, here we're pricing it at 67 and then we're gonna go down from there because think about the buyer for a second. If you offer your biggest, most, uh, most expensive upsell as your third upsell, not everyone's gonna see that because the reality is that there is drop off in the upsell sequence. Mm -hmm. So if someone buys, they don't go to the checkout page right away. They go to this first upsell page and some people are like, oh, I want out of here. I don't want to watch this. So they're out, right? So they would only receive their downloads via email and they've missed the rest of the sequence. 
So I figure if I can get 100% of people to see this, the likelihood of some of them taking it is going to be a lot greater than if they're on the third upsell page. Plus, even if 100% of people made it to the third upsell page, again, it might be a little bit less likely that if they purchased or even didn't purchase upsell number one and upsell number two, the likelihood of them buying upsell number three is even at a higher price point is going to be a lot less. Mm -hmm. Here, they don't know if there's another upsell after this or another upsell after that. So this could be, for all they know, the only other upgrade they have access to. So if they take it, that's awesome. And if they don't, at least we have plan B and plan C. So again, lots of social proof, lots of testimonials, lots of transformation pictures to show that this stuff actually works. And in this case, it's a workout program that's more full body based to accelerate, again, faster results. So okay. that's the focus of this first upsell, higher price points. Okay, so is this a, this is a one-click upsell? This is a one-click upsell, yeah. Okay. So if someone clicks this, like let's say they, they wanna add it to their cart, then what happens next? So next, whether they add this or not, so if they click add to my order or yes or no, they'll be taken to the second upsell page, which is this one. So this one basically is saying, so we've got a program called Yoga for Athletes, which is a, a yoga flow that I developed for the University of Toronto seven years ago that made a huge difference in the performance of our athletes. We dropped injury rates by 82%. It was amazing. I still mm -hmm. do yoga three times a week. I love it. And the whole idea here is that if you can't get proper range of motion with your exercises, you're not going to be activating as many muscles and therefore you're not going to be getting as much of a metabolic effect from your workouts, plus you increase your risk of injury. So that's kind of the whole idea here with this. So it ties pretty tightly into the first offer. Yeah, exactly. So here we're saying, okay, well, you know, here's a way to feel better, to get you know, more bang out of your workouts. And we're also gonna throw in these bonuses, right? How to warm up properly in the foam roller sequence, how to cool down properly in a relaxation audio. And all of this is just 29 bucks. Okay, so again, okay. we've gone from initial price point of 39 on the front end, $67 for the first upsell, 29 so now we're going down 29 dollars for the second upsell and again we've tested we've tested different price points so again don't copy my pricing i mean just test it right like there's no rhyme or reason to what works if you test 28 dollars, it might even work better i don't know so you just have to test stuff again so add to order or decline and then they get taken to the third upsell which is a dietary component to the exercise program so this is something that I would strongly advise you have some type of synergistic diet if you have a workout program. It doesn't always work the other way around. So if you have a diet program and try to sell a workout, the results are not gonna be as good because most people who are interested in eating differently don't necessarily wanna work out. But those people who do like to work out and are ready to train are most likely also going to be improving their dietary habits. So always keep that in mind. So here we're saying, again, this is an accelerator type of, res, uh, type of offer. So we're saying get faster results by learning how to you know, eat food differently. So basically what we're offering here is our 21 day beat the bulge diet guide. It's a five day food cycling formula that helps them cycle their calories a little more strategically so they can burn fat, especially for those who have hit a plateau. And they get these really cool bonuses, right? Again, just to make it a little bit more enticing and we've tried to make this m as much of a no-brainer as possible, you know, $19. So about the price of a regular diet book if you were to buy it at the store. Mm -hmm. And again, add to my order. So, um, so that's our sequence. And I'll just take you to the download page so you can see what that looks like. So this is the download page. And again, video of me. This is really important, I believe, to have again for me personally. For me, I'm I do a lot of video in my business, and it's really important for me to just tell people that I actually give a shit and I care about them and I want to like really help them towards great results. So I try to have video throughout the process as much as possible. So I'm kind of there with them. So this is kind of a getting started video. I show them how to use or how to get started, how to download the program, what to do first, follow me on Instagram, post your picture, you know, tag me, just make sure that I'm in the loop, stuff like that to get them accountable to taking action on the program. Um, on this page, the thank you page, the download page is also great real estate for additional offers. So here we have a 30% off coupon 
for one of our reports, which is the 76 healthiest fat burning superfoods. Again, something that somewhat ties in to their interest in burning fat. And again, they can click on this, it'll open up in a new window and they can access that. Um, then here are the workouts, blah, 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 reminder of billing and support stuff. And we also have reminders of the upsells. So if they miss this stuff, they can click on these and they'll go back to the upsell pages. So, if, you know, I don't know how many people actually take these offers, um, but we have them there anyways, just in case. So that's basically the flow. So again, we've got front end price or front end sales page or video sales letter, three upsells in this case, download page. And that's pretty much our funnel for this after the quiz. All right. Awesome. Yuri. So let's, uh, let's run through this real quick. Uh, I got one more question. Like how do you go about, um, uh, let's see. Um, all right. So you covered, you covered, uh, products. I think we'll skip like the nurture sequence and backend, but you continue to like nurture and sell them different things beyond this. Um, as far as like results, what we've been kind of doing, like Yuri, you've been able to like scale up your ad spend to about $275 a day now. Um, some of the results to share with that, uh, cost per lead. I think we're running about six different campaigns because as the, as the ad spend gets higher, you don't want to put it all into like one or two campaigns. So we're at six campaigns and getting cost per lead anywhere from 50 cents to um, about a dollar per lead. Um, you know, Yuri, you were able to like break ROI positive within the second week, like having this campaign in place. And now you're starting to test some of these different things to see what works. How can you get the conversions higher? Mm -hmm. Um, added about 4,300 leads in just uh, four or five weeks. Um, yeah, so I guess like just final things, Yuri, do you have any advice for people that are like in this process where maybe they have a quiz in place, they're just starting to put their sales pages up? Um, what was it like when you were in their shoes? Like, did you feel like giving up? Like, where did you go to start learning this? I, I think, you know, it's really important to think strategically before you start deploying this stuff. Like, sit, like really just shut down your computer, take out a notebook and start mapping out a perspective funnel and model what works. So if you find stuff in your space that works, buy the product, screen flow the whole process. I mean, Russell Brunson talks about this. It's, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. Screen flow the whole process and use that as your model to emulate. So, but be careful. You have to make sure that the product you're emulating is actually successful. Mm -hmm. So if it's on ClickBank, you want to follow stuff that is, you know, on the top of ClickBank. Um, and yeah, I mean, you can model their pricing. You can model the way they have their, is it a video sales editor or a sales page? Um, there's also other products like this product, the amazing app solution is on ClickBank, but we're not anywhere near the first page simply because we don't, we don't open this up to affiliates really. It's basically internal and only ad traffic. So sometimes you don't really know what's performing well, but if you want a safe bet, find stuff that's on the first page of ClickBank, follow kind of what they're doing and just follow that model. Um, but really think about, you know, when you're acquiring leads through ads or customers through ads, don't, don't get like, you have to think about investing money as, as a, as a testing mechanism first. Your first couple of weeks is testing. Like if you just say, listen, I'm, I'm willing to invest $5,000 or whatever amount of money it is to, to, to figure this out, to, to find out if we do this, this is what we get and use that as your testing ground and, and you know, be okay with potentially losing that amount of money and just go into it saying, listen, I'm going to invest X number of dollars to find the answers I'm looking for. And to be honest, it doesn't matter if you blow that money in a day or a week or, or five weeks because you're still going to get the same data. Mm -hmm. So if possible, I would say, you know, try to go through it as quickly as possible, you know, cause if you can fail forward fast, you're going to get feedback a lot quicker and then you can move forward a lot quicker. So, you know, we're at a point now where we're, you know, we're starting to scale. We're at 275 a day in terms of ad spend. I want to get to the point where we're spending $10,000 a day. So we're going to continue testing stuff to be very confident that we can get there and, you know, just keep ramping it up and ramping it up. So, but you have to know your back end. Like you have to have that back end in place and understand that the majority of people are not going to buy within the first 90 days. So are you okay with nurturing your, your leads over, an extended period of time and are you able to have other offers on the back end that could help you recapture some of your initial investment? So 
it's really important to, to consider some of that stuff. All right. So let me summarize. So first you said like lay down the strategy, go out and find like what's working as far as sales funnels, try to model those and see like how you can like uh, wrap in a lot of the stuff we talked about. Uh, create an investment that you set aside so that you can like run through and like test this and see what works. Um, and finally, know your numbers and be able to track it. And then another thing you said was interesting. You said a majority of people don't buy within the first 90 days. Yeah. So there's, uh, I don't know if it was Nielsen Research or, or one of these research groups, they found that 15% of people buy in the first 90 days. So if there are people who are actively looking for a solution and the rest of those people are usually buying within about 18 months after those first 90 days. So the tendency is for a lot of us to, well, if they didn't buy in the first week, let's just throw them into a promotion bucket and just hammer them. Mm -hmm. And you can do that if you want to try to recoup your money really quickly. And it depends on how you want to run your business. Um, so that's a philosophical question you have to answer based on how you want to run your business. But just understand that if a hundred people come in, the likelihood is that maybe, maybe one to two, or one to two of them are going to buy right away, and just understand that, and and not freak out if it's not happening. And just if it's not happening, there's just something you're you're there's just something you don't know. So you just have to continue testing and tweaking and, and seeking advice. And ultimately, the best advice I can give you is to test because if you ask me what's going to work in this situation, I have no idea. And if I were to tell you that I do, then I would be full of crap because sometimes we've tested upsell flows that make no sense and they've actually performed better. Mm -hmm. So you just have to continue to test and test and test. Awesome. Okay. Yuri, I, I think this was really awesome. Um, where can people find you? Your website is yuriokaim.com, Y-U-R-E-L-K-I-M.com. And then you also have um, a pretty inexpensive program where you share your experience on um, like sales funnels, the psychology, all of that. Where can people find that at? I don't even know. Uh, I don't even know if we have it open to the public, but if you, if you guys, so I'm also teaching a lot of the business and marketing stuff uh, pretty much uh, through my podcast, the Smarter Marketer Show. And we have a course called Funnel Mastery. If you're interested in that, just direct message me on Facebook and I'll send you over the link. Cause we normally offer that through a webinar and that's, we, that's a whole other funnel that we've done with Facebook ads and stuff, which is pretty cool. Um, but if you're interested in that, let me know because what I've done, I would say really well over the past couple of years is, is really funnel development and funnel strategy and thinking about this kind of stuff. Cause I've done so much of it in my business. Um, some of it hasn't worked, but a lot of it has. And I'm, I'm basically with, with this course of kind of laid out everything in terms of the psychology and the templates and the structure and all that stuff. So it's, it's a really good course. Awesome, Yuri. Well, you've been around a long time. You've got a lot of experience. I really appreciate you sharing with us what you're doing and with this kind of new model of like the quiz as a front end. So thank you so much for your time. Anytime, buddy. Thank you. Awesome. We'll talk to you later. Ciao.